Now, when you're looking at these types of devices, on the devices themselves, the vast majority of them are running what's known as web servers. It's the same web server like when you browse on the internet and you go to a website, there's a server serving that up. Well, every one of these types of devices, not everyone, a large percent have web servers running on them. In fact, any of these things here that says HTTP, um, these are all indicating there's some sort of a server running on these devices. And the reason that that's important, web servers are notorious for having new vulnerabilities discovered all the time. Now, when they're discovered on a corporation network, or if, you know, if SDCC was told tomorrow, hey, there's a new vulnerability in the type of server that they use, they would immediately patch it and there would be no concern and problem would be solved and there'd be no risk. With these devices though, the vast majority, they never get patched because you have to go and do a firmware update to push that out onto these devices. So if you have something like Sonos or maybe an Apple product or, or Google, those will probably push it for you because they put a lot of money into their security and they really care about making it as secure as they can. On the other hand, the other 90 billion or however many there's gonna be out there, do not because these are companies that are generally just shoving out very quick, very basic products really fast and really cheap. And their goal is to get it out as quick as they can, as cheap as they can. So if you buy a toaster, that toaster, you know, you get for 30 bucks or 40 bucks, you're getting it as cheap as they can get it out to you. Security is not their top priority on that toaster. The coolness factor is what's important. They're gonna give you an app that looks cool on your phone so you can be in bed and say toast and the toast will start and that'll be really cool. The security is not what they're really thinking about but it can come back and cause a lot of problems. And so when you look at the amount of devices out there and you start thinking about how the risks can really add up, it can get really bad. And so this is a good story that came out and this was this, this uh, particular botnet. And a botnet is a type of malware that spreads around on computers. It generally worms through systems. And what this one did was it would go all over the internet and it was looking for a very specific type of Internet of Things device. And whenever it found that one, it could automatically put this malware on there. And then what it, the botnet means is that it could be controlled from a centralized location. So now, if I'm a bad guy, I could be sitting in Russia or wherever, I can be in my underwear at my desk, and I'm now, <clears throat> oh, I may lose my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so now I can control one million devices from my one machine. And Granted, I have no plans to go to each one of those devices and do something for myself. However, if I want to do stuff like denial of service attacks, where you, you read about it from time to time, like some network got knocked offline. Well, if I can control a million computers, I can tell those things, that's what these things are. They're basically small computers. I can tell those things all at the same time. I want you to all go to this one address and I just want you to all go there as many times as you can. And basically that's a denial of service. It tries to flood that network so it can't get real traffic in because so much stuff's going there. And while that seems bad with one million, most of the time organizations, if they're large enough, they work with third parties that can kind of keep that under control and block it out and make it so they'll stay online. On the other hand, when we start talking about Internet of Things and we start talking about the fact that there's going to be 20 billion of these devices, start thinking about those numbers and you know, imagine if instead of being able to control one million devices, I could control one billion devices and tell a billion to all go after something. In those kind of scenarios, you're talking about the ability to knock off parts of the network. I mean, like you can do serious kinds of damage with that kind of power. And that's where this stuff gets really frightening is it's not just controlling one, it's controlling tons of them. 